Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I shall be chatting about Second Sight, Scribe and probably a few other things by Illuminati Magic. Before we do this, before I do this, I'd like to tell you, don't do this before we do it, uh, go and have a look afterwards <laughs> at onlinemagic.co. Just go and have a look at onlinemagic.co, 800 plus videos, my own membership site that's been running for 10 years. It was one of the really early ones and it's still going and I add to it every month, live sessions every week. And uh, have a look at that, onlinemagic.co. Check out the testimonials, do not take my word for it. I'm going to do my best to explain what this is because I've only just kind of got my head around the, the, the potential. First of all, Second Sight. Second Sight is an RFID reader. Second Sight is something that will take information from an object with an NFC RFID tag on it. So I have done a few demonstration tricks with this, which are super, super basics of what this can do. And even that is ridiculously powerful. Uh, I'd like you to just look through the pack and choose any three cards. Any three? Yeah. Take them out? Yeah, have a look and make sure there's no repeating cards because you okay. could have shuffled a deck and there's only three. I trust you. Yeah. And if you want, you can have a look at what you've got um, and change them for different ones. And you can even spread through the cards face up and complete. I want this to be an absolute free choice. So you've kind of done a trick on yourself where you've spread the cards, you've looked at them, you've shuffled them, and you've got three cards. Yeah. Do you want to change anything? No. It's really important you know that I've given you that chance. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, what have we got? Uh, Ace of Clubs, King of Diamonds, and Two of Clubs. Again, you just saw me reach out and just put that up. And now we've got the two of clubs, king of diamonds, and ace of clubs. Two of clubs, king of diamonds. Just there. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, I'm just mad. It's just a random, just a normal pack of cards. Yeah. That's at its most basic, but then you've got other things. So you could get it to send that information to an app. So it could send it to a variety of apps like The Stranger, which has an in inter integration. Uh, it could send it to a website. So it could send an image to a website, which you've almost also programmed into the tag. And last night I started getting into all the, this, fake web search thing. So basically you go on someone's phone, you go, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go on Google. I'm going to do this, do a little prediction, um, put the phone down and you can even do the, you can open Google in front of them. There's a really clever way of doing it. That goes down and you go through the whole process with the celebrities again, and they look at their phone and it's basically made their phone go onto the Wikipedia page of that cele celebrity. But it, importantly, and we'll go on to the app in a minute, you can create your own very easily. So you can put an NFT a tag into a card or into two cards, put them together and laminate them and program the information. So this is where we've got things like celebrity cards. So you can have 20 celebrities, you can say, okay, take one and just put it in there and then you know what celebrity they've taken. And then you start going, hang on, I can do that. And this is where my mind started going. And I've lost my mind with this <laughs> in a really good way. Because I've never really done, not get, don't get me wrong, there are no other apps and things that use NF, NFC, RFID, and there's a difference there with all the technology, but we won't go into that. Um, but this is the first time I've really got my head around it, and there's a good reason for that. And again, we'll talk about that in a second. The important things without me showing you is that this thing that will read the information off whatever you got the tag in is in my hand now. Okay. It is small, it's thin, it will go into a wallet even, as long as you haven't got the wallet full. In my demonstration, I just did it, at, again, most basic, in a card box. You know, you think, well, everybody's going to know. You've got to say, put the cards on the card box. Nobody even thought about it. You can have them under a table. The only things that the signal will not go through is anything that magnetizes stuff, so certain metals, uh, and anything that conducts electricity. So wood, you know, human flesh, I'm not saying you're going to put a piece of human flesh on there, but your hand, um, nearly everything, wallets, all that kind of stuff, boxes, as long as it's not made of uh, ferrous metal, 
uh, is totally fine. So then you've got the things, okay, we get three people to put the cards in a box, the, the second site is in the bottom of the box or a bag, and it will read those things and send that information where you want it. Um, so click on that, and then I want you to think of something that you are interested in, all right? So think of something that you're interested in, but think of something to do with that thing. So if for me, it might be cycling, and it might be uh, a bicycle or something like that. And this prediction I, I did earlier on, and you see that it says, You can have a boarding pass. They have lots of different cards with different destinations written on them, lots of different cards uh, with, uh, with other destinations on them. And one could be a departure, and one could be a destination, and then a boarding pass is printed out. could have EasyJet or British Airways, whatever, and it shows those departure points on there uh, with your name or the name of the spectator or whatever you've programmed it to do. And this is what a lot of people have demonstrated with it. Myself, what suits me is I like these handwritten things, but I can see the potential in that and the, the routing around that. And then you can think about it, you can link it to the calculator we, he has, which I haven't played with yet, but people put digits into a calculator and they could put their birthday in their times, you know, day of the, the, their birth time, div, um, multiplied by the month, multiplied by the year, etc., etc. And then you end up with a birthday card or a postcard or something with the person's uh, birthday on it, happy birthday on this date, or you could have an image generated if you don't want to use Scribe, which is almost like a kind of PDF thing which you can send someone a JPEG with that information on there that you've programmed in. Now this is where you're going to start going, hey, what, um, what do you mean information? And I, again, I can't go into loads of detail about that. Software that you get with Scribe, or you can get it without Scribe if you want and pay for it, it's, it's like a mini Photoshop. It will allow you after time to create anything you can create an image where you can have the celebrities you know on the cards like I said before but that can throw them to an image and you can have free reveals on that image as he does in the demonstration you have free posters on a wall um, one of them could be Tom Cruise one of them could be I can't think of one actor in the I was, I was gonna say Jim Broad <laughs> Even though he's a great actor, I don't know, but, you know, maybe you want something that um, everybody, uh, people under the age of uh, uh, 30 are going to have heard of. But, you know, Charlie Chaplin, well, that would be good, actually. But, and then films and anything you want. The image editor is amazing. You can mask things, so you can have a poster on the wall behind a chair, and it kind of goes behind the chair, so it doesn't look like it's just slapped on it. It looks really amazing. So endless, endless, endless possibilities. You know, RFID tags in lottery balls that get placed into a bowl where it gets read and then gets, again, put up onto the lottery ticket, which gets created, and you can say, look, here's lottery ticket. So that's it, in a very, very, very basic nutshell. With the downsides, and I'm, I'm happy about these downsides. The downsides are this. Well, first of all, upsides more, really well made, really great, really it works, works, works. When things are connected, they just connect straight away. And before we go to the downsides, I've just thought of something else I have to tell you, or two things. The software links everything together in one app, all right? So you're not having to close apps and open other apps. This is the thing I've had problems with before. And don't get me wrong, there are f amazing apps out there that I've looked at and, you know, I've the CubeSmith Times, I love them all. And um, Glyphs, you know, the, everything has similarities and everybody's in competition with each other. Okay, and I do not get into all that. I'm reviewing the product as is and as I've experienced. They're all great. They all have strengths and weaknesses. One of the strengths of this is that the app cr links everything together. So you've got all these products, you don't have to open any more apps, it works in the background, all that stuff. Now, because of that, it can be quite complex for some people. If you just want one thing to do, one thing, and you want to get down to it and you don't want to do any of the other stuff then other apps and other things are going to be quicker because you're going to pick it up and you're going to go I want to do that that great and that's all you may want to do because this is an investment you may want a routine you want to just do that for your routine brilliant but if you want all these things which link together and you could create an image or you could create the the thing <laughs> I don't know why I'm not saying it and have that versatility now that is this is what this is great for but it comes with a cost and the cost is the learning curve now when I first got this, I thought the learning curve wasn't going to be as steep because Nathan goes through everything in detail, so much detail. 
He really holds your hand through everything, the process, even explains the technology and why it works. And someone like me really needs that. And that's why I've only just started getting my head around this stuff because I really, I've never really got it. I just want someone to just go, right, let's go about the basics, this, this, this. And after all this, and I'm, don't get me wrong, I've watched this for hours again and again and again, I finally now get it. And I've, as I said, I've had this a long time. But there's a lot going on here and for some of you even though you'll get to a point where you understand it you might just want something just simple i just want to like i said there's been quite a few times where i've gone to perform this and i've done it i thought that didn't work oh i just i didn't set that thing that's right and you see so you have to learn that now when i perform it i double i cross check everything i go this is oh yeah i've done that done that done that and actually i'm going to have a little list every time just to just to make sure the settings are right because it does so much of course there is more room for error and for you to forget one of the settings saying that all the set settings make sense and they're completely intuitive you don't have to understand anything that techy you just have to understand how it all fits together and that once you get it is the power of it but you're going to have to be patient especially some of you so if you've got any questions it's a very like i said it's a very shambolic but again there's so much that i haven't said that that i'm sure anybody watching is going, yeah but i want to know that so do put them in the comments below and I will um, do a second, third review. Uh, I am using this. This is stuff I'm going to use, as I have with a lot of the other techs. So this is an ongoing thing for me. So I will be finding out things. I'm happy to do, do more videos on this. Um, but it's great. So, so far, I've played with the, the app, of course, the Unify uh, app, which, again, I'm only just doing the thing. I did do this with a wiki test reveal as well with a uh, Helio Iglesias that doesn't use Second Sight. That just uses the software... Uh, and of course, Wikitest, it just fried people. And these are the kind of responses you get, which is not, like, yay, that's brilliant. It's like people are quiet. People can't quite comprehend what's going on, even just with the card reveal. And remember I, I said, you know, it's easy to go just with the card reveal. This isn't just the card reveal. This is people choosing their own cards without you going anywhere near it. You having a prediction in your pocket in a bag. And that, just think of the versatility of that and what different things you could do. Uh, with that. Okay, thank you to Nathan Buzzer for sending that to me. Um, I'm putting this out the day before Blackpool, so all those people I talked about are going to be there, so go and check out this stuff. Um, the only extra, you get pretty much everything to get going. Um, the only extra thing you're going to get are the add-ons. You have to pay like £15, £16 pound for certain add-ons if you want to do certain things, so um, and that's where you can start really customising your stuff. Thanks also for, you know, the, the web, the, as in with all these things, um, the Facebook pages are so important for people like me. The guy Charlie Dent, you know, I've just been on the phone to him, the poor bloke. I'm constantly, oh, how'd you do this? I did that and that didn't work. And he's just spent so much time with me because I didn't have as much time as I wanted before I put this review out because I wanted to get out before Blackpool. Um, so, thank you very much. That'll do it for now. If any of that made sense, great. If it didn't, sorry about that. Do check out onlinemagic.co. Obviously, use the links below to check out the stuff. And uh, you'll get loads more information on the Illuminati website. All right. Take care. Have a great one. Like and subscribe. Cheers.